Hey everybody, welcome to another Realms of Conflict. I am here with Chris. Hello. And he's back with his orcs and goblins. Orcs, <laughs> and I guess just goblins, because they're just goblins. Yeah. Is there a new I, word I for goblin? Grots and git Is it mobs. Grots and git mobs? Okay, grots and git mobs. Um, and I am um, here with my forces of order, free peoples, uh, with backup from some Stormcast Eternals. Uh, and we're gonna be playing The Ritual. So The Ritual is a battle plan from the new Age of Sigmar rulebook, where I am trying to stop him from turning humans into goblins. His mages have unlocked the secret of turning humankind into goblin kind. It's gone all terribly wrong. And he's got a really cool model which we're using, and so that's why that's the story of ridiculous <laughs> humans being transmuted into goblins. Um, but basically the ritual is a scenario where uh, I am trying to get to an artifact and destroy it with my general uh, before he can either kill my general and stop me, um, or I run out of heroes to do it with. So, so one of those two things will happen. One of us got a major victory. My new command ability for this battle plan is actually shatter the artifact, and only my general can do it. If he's within three inches during the hero phase, he has to get there and then survive until his next hero phase. On a two plus, he shatters the artifact. If I lose my general, I can nominate one second in command to become the general, and he'll get that hero ability, or that general's ability, um, to try again. Other than that, I will get a major defeat, he'll get a major victory, and he kills my two heroes, he wins. General hunting time. That's right, general hunting time. So it's kind of almost a sudden death for you. That's right. Even though you have way more models than me, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Uh, and then on his side, that's all he's trying to do is hunt my two characters, hunt all my characters, actually. And if he that's kills great. all my characters, he's gonna win the game. So we're gonna show you the setup, we'll walk you through the battle plan, show you our armies, and we'll get started. So here is a blast from the past. My old Bretonian army repurposed as free people. These are the yeoman and house carls of the Liberators and the different Stormcast Eternals living in Azerheim. Now the realm gates have been thrown open. They've come back to their cities to try and rescue and free the people that have been subjected to all kinds of terrible things by chaos and the force of destruction. So in my army, I have a Bretonian Lord here on the right. I have a Bretonian Damsel on the left and a Lord Relictor is doing forces of order. It's something I haven't really seen people doing yet in their games of um, Age of Sigmar is just take whatever you want. So I had an idea for a story in my mind, and this is what I'm doing. I got some cool knights. I got basically a unit of 12 realm knights here with full commands. Um, you can see I converted mine to all look like hedge knights. So my idea with my Bretonian army in the past was it wasn't very heroic. And so my guys didn't go into battle helmed. Um, they had minimal heraldry, and they had these like face masks that they would earn. Basically, that was their no their virtue of nobility. But they would always show their faces or their foes. I have a unit of um, knights errant. So you can see they don't have their helms yet, they don't have their face masks uh, with full commands. I have a unit of bowmen, so 10 peasant bowmen with a musician. I have a unit of 8 Stormcast Eternals led by a Prime, and that is it. That is my 80 wounds. Once again, we are using the Lords of War tournament format, so 80 wounds, um, 6 to 8 scrolls, and then no more than 25 wounds per scroll. So that's my Forces of Order army trying to stop the ritual and save the, uh, the human race in their destroyed former cities as they come through the Realm Gates from Azerheim. And here's Chris's forces of destruction, the Auric Horde. Um, we've got Grimgor Ironhide here leading the army with Dut Immortals, a unit of 10, um, if you deploy them in three inches, they become the Dut Immortals, a unit of 10 Black Orcs with commands. We have a Goblin Shaman on a wolf, an Arachnorok Spider, a Mangler Squig, a Snotling Pump Wagon, a unit of Squig Hoppers here, and then some boys with Choppa Choppa in command. So there's 80 wounds, eight scrolls, um, and then it's two monsters, uh, I believe you've got two heroes, and that's that for your forces of destruction. These are the cunning evil orcs that are trying to transmute human into orc. So here's our six by four foot table set up for the ritual. Now, the ritual marker is here. You can see this human being transmuted into a goblin by evil goblin magics. I have to try and get my general within three inches of this marker, it's just a cool miniature that Chris made that we thought we'd do a story around. And then roll a dice. I, my unique command ability for this scenario is on a two plus, if I'm within three during my hero phase, I shatter the artifact. With a one, I don't shatter it off to try again later on. So if I can get within three of that with my general and shatter it in the hero phase, I will get a major victory. Now you've already rolled for scenery, so most of the scenery here is just helping us cause fear. It's all these scary buildings. I can understand the humans are coming back to their civilization after a couple hundred years and it's all just destroyed and it's a bit disconcerting. Um, and then on top of that, we also have two buildings that are inspiring so add one to your bravery here and here we have a single damned building where you can sacrifice guys to get bonuses in combat and then over here we have one that's arcane so wizards can stand near this and get bonuses to cast so the ritual we already described my command ability shatter the artifact now the um ritualist command when destroyed at all costs he can command his units to be reckless he picks d3 units within 12 inches of his general they add one to all hit rolls but subtract one to all their saves so he can basically force his guys to take bigger risks and try and damage me now the actual setup you can see here here's the artifact ritualist territory up to half um the disruptors territory up to this size uh, and then the setup is we 
basically go back and forth setting up units. They can't be within six of enemy territory and no model can be deployed in the area occupied by the magical artifact. I will get to decide who's going first as the disruptor. And the, uh, like I said, major victory goes to me if I destroy the act artifact. If uh, he completes the ritual, he gets a major victory. Now the ritual, the ritualist rolls a dice in each of their hero phases and adds one for every friendly wizard or priest that's within 12 of the artifact. Subtract one from the rolls for every enemy wizard or priest that's within 36 of the artifact. The roll cannot be increased beyond six or reduced below one and keep a note of the cumulative. If you get to 20, that's the countdown, you complete the ritual. Use this d20 to track the death clock basically as it starts up uh, and he rolls his dice. And we're gonna go back and forth now deploying. Um, after that, we're not using any sudden death because it's not used in this. So you don't use any of the stuff from the Age of Sigmar. Um, and we'll be back to show you where we've landed. So you can't be within six enemy territory, which basically means we have 18 inch, sorry, 36 minus six. Would be, you can be 30 inches from your table edge as we deploy. Here are the orky defenders of the ritual. We have the Arachnorok Spider. Again, it's a flinger, not a shaman. Um, we have, actually, it could be a shaman if you want it to be. You have an extra hero slot, don't you? Uh, no, because I have this guy. You have two heroes or three? Just two. You One. can have three. You can have three? Yeah, if you want to make him a shaman, you can be a shaman. Sure, he's a shaman. Shaman he is! <laughs> um, and now we've got um, a unit of black orcs who are within three of Grimgors. They're now dumb mortals. Uh, we have a unit of um, sort of strategically placed orcs in front of them. So if I decide to charge these guys, he's going to get pylons afterwards with his orcs or his black orcs. Uh, then we have the goblin war boss over here. We have the mangler squid in the pump wagon. And then the unit of squig hoppers on the flank. I have my masked unit of knights of the realm with my general, the Bretonian Lord. And then I have my Lord Relictor with his unit of liberator, yeah, liberators with some peasant boatmen in behind just being like, what do you do? Well, we shoot because these guys can't throw their hammers. And then um, a damsel of the lady in behind them. And on my far flank, my uh, knights errant stand near the damsel so they can get some show off tactics. And there it is, deployment for the ritual. So I'm going to opt to go first. And in my hero phase, I'm going to start issuing some hero abilities. So we are going to make this big unit of knights I mean, to battle shot. The Lord Relictor is not in range for any of his abilities, healing or lightning. Um, but what we are going to do is cast Arcane Shield uh, from the unit of, sorry, from the damsel onto my unit of liberators here, trying to give them plus one armor save on a six plus. Got it! They have plus one armor save. Knights Errant move in 10 inches this turn, so let's so just do it the easy way. So we go eight and then, whoops, two, so we're just up to here. Riding towards their doom and the spider. Wow, you wanted to show off, guys. Let's go show off fighting a giant spider. Liberators get to move up five, which we'll just put them over here. So they're slow this round, but that's okay. They have three plus armor saves right now, rerolling ones, which is Zinch Chaos Lord in old 8th edition. Kind of amazing. He only goes four. Like he's wicked slow because he's carrying his giant kill magic. So he's going to go four inches over to here. Five inch move as well. So just going to move up five inches in behind their friends. Big mob of Knights of the Realm going 10 as well. So that's going to be this and then two. And we'll stay three inches away. Moving on up. This building would make me cause fear. Um, but I didn't start within three of it during my hero phase. My general gets to go 12. Kind of don't want to get eaten this turn. So he's going to go up to here. Sorcerer's also moving five. She'll just walk along the wall. Stay in cover. There's only two shots in range right now. Longbow's into the pump wagon. We're going to hit on fives and fours. One, four plus. Make a save. Six plus. Nope. nope. Takes a wound. How many's he got left? He has four. One that gives him three wounds. Here we go. Baby Squig's getting charged by knights. Five inches. As long as I come within half an inch. Into my spear. Oh yeah, lots of room. So he's gonna go in five. And then the Lord will see if he makes it. He's gonna go nine, which I think gets him in. Nine inches. And if he can fit between this gap, which he should be able to. Does he physically fit? Yes, he does. Because it's the model at the base. And he'll be there. It's all my charges. So I'm going to pick the Bretar, the Night Lance to go first. This is my turn. They're gonna pile in three inches. Everybody's gonna try and get a dancing partner. Going towards the closest model. This guy's already basically touching somebody. There, I don't think everybody's gonna quite make it. Okay, with a two inch reach on all the lances then, that's gonna be everybody but this back guy. He's out of range. So everybody else from their spears and stuff will be in range. So that's 11 guys with a paladin, goes to uh, plus one attack. So it's gonna be 23 attacks. Lances. So it's gonna be hitting on threes, wounding on threes here with 23 attacks. I get more than 10 guys, I get mass cavalry charge for plus one. All right, so hitting on threes here, let's see what we get. Taking away the ones and twos. And then wounding on threes, I get plus one to wound right now on the charge with my lances. I bogged down easy though, that's the thing. As soon as I'm not charging, my stats get way worse. 
threes go away. No rend here, sorry, ones and twos go away. That's going to be nine, no rend. It's plus saves here, pass five. You pass two, so that's 10, well, uh, uh, lots. <laughs> they explode. <laughs> Damage the charge, charging for Tony Knight's pretty good. Uh, that's all the combats now, my lord, and of course the flashing hooves and the guys don't get it. Thus ends turn one Bretonia, making an example out of some squig hoppers, but we're on to turn one for the ritualists. So he's got one wizard within 12 for plus one. I have a priest and a wizard within 36 for minus two. So it'll be dice minus two here for the ritual to see how far it gets. So dice, dice, minus, dice one. minus one, so he's at one right now out of 20. So the ritual is one complete out of two. Grimgore's using his command ability for his uh, general. What's he gonna do? Everybody fights or else. If Grimgor Ironhide <laughs> uses this ability until the next hero phase, you can add one to all hit rolls for orc models from your army that are within 10 inches of them. That's hilarious. He basically just threatens everybody to be back. Gift of the Spider God being cast by the Shaman here. What's he going to do? It's a four plus, and basically you can pick a Spider Fang unit within eight inches, so he's going to pick himself. Pick himself, yep. Uh, and basically, you double the number of mortal wounds afflicted by the Venom ability. Oh, so if he gets his six for his Venomous Fangs or whatever, he gets crazy amounts of damage. So go for it. Five. Cast. Cast More. goes off. I don't have anybody with 18, so I can't spell. Two spells because he's being mounted on here. He's going to check for range for Arcane Bolt from your Talons. Nope. Oh, for my Talons. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're totally in. Arcane Bolt on them. Goes off with a 10. Nothing I can do about it. How many wounds? It is... D3 mortal. Uh, D, pick the D3 mortal. So D3. That's one, one so there's a wound on. They have two wounds each. Anguish Quig. I think he has to go to the general. I really think Do it! You can kill my general, it's gonna make it a slow game for me to get over there with my wizard or my warrior yeah, priest. Right I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a thing. So he moves 3d6. Okay. Oh wow, that's 10. That's way more than enough. <laughs> that's way more than enough. You stop within three though. I stop within three, so it's gonna be like the, the laterally just within three of the general, so he's not pulling hopefully too many other guys into combat when he charges. Six for the pump wagon. It's gonna get to go six, six inches, inches this turn, wherever he wants. Well, it's gonna go again. I'm gonna bore you. He's gonna go like this. Stay inside of three. Eight. Big spider showing off. It's right. exactly, that's a six inch gauge. You just put down the eight inch gauge, picked up a six inch one. I know. <laughs> Ironically. And I'll go two more. Yeah. And that's all the movements for the turn. Right. And some guns. No guns. There's no arrows? No. Four uh, shots from the goblins into... Uh, okay, yeah. assuming that. So fives to hit, one hit, and then force to wound. Wounds. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a four plus armor save for the knights. They're good. They charge first. Mangler squeak first. He rolls doubles, he gets crazy attacks. And he rolls ten, so he's lots of range. And he goes. And it's not my pump play again. Also going for it. I'm gonna go into try to get into this unit. You know, well, it's gonna be both, right? Nine. Nine. Yeah. For the long bomb in the rock and rock, because why not? It's, I'm better not charging. Nine. Yeah, Talon to spear is nine, so he's in. Now, where do you want to go first? Uh, we are gonna start with the mangler squig on your lord. Of course you. Are. So what's interesting is when I charge during the turn, I get to reroll ones for my save with my shield, and also I get all my lance and sword benefits. So because I went first this battle round, I'm still technically charging for the turn. Massive fangs from the mangler squig. Twos to hit, threes to wound. Bad news bears. There's four, and then threes to wound. There's two. two. Rend. It's rend minus one. All right, so a, five, a three plus save becomes a four plus save, rerolling ones. Make one. How many wounds? It is two. Two, so I'm down to three. E six attacks from the ball and chains. This could be bad. That could be dead. Six. six. What's it hit on? It hits on fours, wounds on threes. Uh oh. 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 Two, threes. One. One, and it's rend minus two. Oh. Three damage. Okay. So I have a six plus, save, sorry, a four, five plus save here, or I'm dead, and I reroll ones. Fives! Fives! Ah, it's a six, I'm good. Renzi, has got more attacks. Night Goblin Bash is skills, four attacks, oh fives and fives. This is what's gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill my goblins! And fives. Two. Two. What's the rend? Any? No. Just rend. goblins? Just okay. Goblins. So three plus, rerolling ones. Make them. So now I'm gonna to go. I'm gonna pile in my knights. These guys pile in. And then it's gonna be three inches. Like so, three inches, they have two inch reach, like so, like so, like so, like so, like so, and I don't think these guys will make it. 
This is all under the wagon, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not this guy, nobody else. So just seven guys. So that's going to be two attacks each, 14, 15 is my champion. So now hitting on threes, taking away the ones and twos, and then because I'm still charging in this turn, wounding on threes, take away the ones and twos, so that will be eight, no rend. <laughs> Eight All sixes, right. do it! Six. No, that's no. a bunch times two. Arachnarok time. So I'll do my goblin crew first. Yeah. So four, four attacks, fives and fours. Fives to hit. Fives. Two. two. Fours to wounds, stab with stabbers. Two, two wounds. So four ball saves, I am not charging this round, so I don't get any kind of bonuses. So I make one save, take a wound, and this guy dies. Legs. Fours and threes. Eight attacks because of eight legs. Ha ha ha. Three. And then three's to wounds. Lots three. of wounds. Run one. Minus one. Yeah. Okay, so fives. Make one. So I'm going to lose two. What's the damage? It is one. Damage. One? Okay, so just one guy. Thanks. This is the one that gets dangerous. If you roll six, it just becomes mortal wounds. So it's threes to hit. Okay. And then sixes to wound are just mortal wounds. D3. Nope. No wounds. Mm. I'm in here first because I'm over on the side of the table. And that's my lord afterwards. And they're going to go three. And I'm going to get one, two, three, four, and my paladin is five attacks. Five dice, fours and fours. Four hits, and then forced wounds. Three wounds. Four plus saves. So, uh -oh. no. horses have two each, which will give me a grand total of eight attacks. Fours and fours as well. Oh, horses are mad. Horses, horses and Warhammer since time before time. I've always done better than their riders. It's like a law. One wound makes it. All right, so my lord right now, five attacks with his crazy dragon bane lance because he's charging. Hitting on threes, because you're a monster, I reroll my rolls to hit, and then I get plus one to wound and plus one damage. So I have D3 plus one damage per wound. So hitting, reroll my misses. There's four hits, wounding on threes, so a plus one wound right now because I'm kind of charging this turn. So three wounds, minus one rend. Sixes. Sixes! Oh, so D3 plus one damage. Two. Forcey, two attacks, fours. Reroll hits because you're a monster. Ta and then I get plus one wound for threes. But oh no, it's only with my lance. Never mind. It's only with the uh, Dragon Bane lance I get to reroll. Every five on these guys, I can reroll my tests too. I took a casualty. It's seven. I'm going to reroll that. That's two. That's now a three. That's better. Initiative kind of a big deal right now. Let's see who gets it. No, oh, it's going to the Bretonians. Bretonians long since destroyed. We don't even know what that word means anymore. Uh, these guys are going to retreat towards the enemy. Because that's a thing. So we're just going to leave combat. Six and then four more as long as we end outside of three of you. And then... Because I don't want to really fight another round of combat against that thing. And then four more. It's just going to turn around. That's fine. As long as I'm not fighting you this, <laughs> this other round. That's great. You forgot the hero phase. Um, so yeah, before I do anything, uh, we're going to try and lightning bolt this squig. Because it's within 12, 3 plus. Gonna get it. And then D3 mortal wounds. It's gonna take one. He's gonna try and arcane shield the knights again. Does on a 11, so they get plus one armor. So everybody's gonna flee from this thing because we don't wanna fight Mangler Squid because he's terrifying. And we're gonna go six and six more for him is 12 or stay outside of three. Go to here. Everybody else is gonna go 10. Six and four. Break from combat. Six and four. Break from combat. Break from combat. He's gonna go back a little bit because I want everybody around him. I'm just gonna stay in a big blob. He's gonna make this unit immune to battle shock tests. Yeah. Sorry, because there's not nobody's charging this turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit. And run away from El Manglor. I only want to kill your lord. I know. <laughs> He's just gonna run. So he goes four plus four is eight. That's six and then two more. I'll put them up there. Gonna run. They're gonna go ten this turn. So eight and two more. They'll do just pass this thing. Then we're gonna walk five. Because now they're gonna get in gun range of stuff. They're at the end of their move. And then the lady is just gonna run over here. We're going to shoot some bows and arrows. Now we can't see Mangler Squig. I wish we could. Um, but we are instead going to shoot this line of orcs. Only one guy's even in range. So fives, nothing. Having retreated and retreated, and just double checking them all within three here, because I shouldn't be. No, I should just be nudged slightly like that. Right. Um, everybody here is um, not charging, and that means it's your turn. Oh. Phase, we're going to roll the d6. 
Uh, minus one, because I've got two wizards and priests, and you've got one wizard. Actually, he's not within 12 anymore. There's nope. d6 minus two now. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be three, so you're up to four total, or 20. Which will nearest completion, and then he's going to use... Everybody fights or else with his general, so they re-roll within 10 inches. Right. Add one to all hit rolls, not re-roll. Ragnarok, getting ready to charge again. Swag, coming for me. He's going to go six this turn. Again, staying outside of three, so he's just going to skirt the train. Or just end outside of three. Yeah, the space between these was a bit big because he's a huge model, so I'm going to move back a little bit. Ringor's getting down to business. It's going to keep this ritual happening. Five inch move for all the orcs. We will transform humans into goblins. It will happen. We found the technology. I just realized the boo-boo Grimgor was uh, in this unit leading it, apparently. But we, I did the same thing with my Butcher last game that we played. Um, you need to remember that the characters don't join coherency on units. It's not a big deal. It's not really going to affect anything, but just a funny difference from the last edition. Got one more boss. Just coming within three. Toad. Yeah, just so he's toes three. Gotcha. The immortals moving up so that if I do decide to charge these orc boys, I'll get a pile yeah. in. He forgot to cast during his hero phase. We're going to go back and do that. So uh, the Venom again. Okay. On a four. Gets it. Does it. And I'll do the arcane bolt on these guys as well. Sounds good. That yep. So that's three. I'm just gonna check actually if you're in with range for me to unbind it now. Oh, that's my, right. Uh, I was. I, um, do you want to sorceress? Unbind it? She needs to unbind. Well, I'm gonna try and unbind this one first. I don't really care about the other one. She does not. She needs to beat it with an eight. And then what'd you roll for the first one? Do you remember? I rolled a five, I believe. Well, let's just see what I roll. Nine. That's probably gonna get it. Oh no, you rolled like an eleven. Never mind. Okay. Unbinding either spell. Four bows into them. Oh, you got three wounds on me? I'm yeah. going to take off him. And then we'll put one wound on this guy. And hit on fives. And then one on fours. Nope. Or sorry, five, fives. Sorry. Charges. I think you need a four or five. I'll get it. Mangalore squig. I'll roll first, then I'll figure out what Seven. Seven. Yeah. One into the knights. One into the knights. Where's Grimbor charging to? Oh, I see what his range is first. Yep. He gets eight inches. I want to see if I can get to that. To my lord? lord. Probably. You have eight and a half to get there. Oh, yeah. All day. Goblin War Boss also going in. He goes seven. He's in. The Orc Boy's going in as well. Nine inches, lots of room. It's probably worth it at this point. Because even though I'll countercharge you, it's going to be hard. The Lord Relic is going to have to get all the way over that thing to destroy it. I forgot I could retreat and run too. I should have totally rolled for a run move when my guys moved. Shooting? Oh, dude, we did it. Right? Oh, okay. We so skipped because we skipped moving. Oh, that was charges. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now combats. Who wants to go first? Grimgore. Probably makes sense. On your lord. So he does not have another orc hero in range. So he's only going to hit on threes. Only going to hit on threes. <laughs> Normally hit on twos as an orc general nearby. He gets the benefit from his own command ability because he is an orc. So he hits on twos no matter what. So if you have an, an, another orc hero nearby. And that okay. ability up, he hits on ones. That's he just right. auto hits. Amazing. So. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right, so two is a hit. Okay. So one miss. And threes to wound. Okay. Oh, get Snick. That is three. three. And it's minus two Ren, two damage each. Ooh, five plus saves here for my arc, or sorry, for my, uh, my lord. I fill them all and take six wounds. I'm dead. Almost a major victory. So nominate a new hero. It's going to be my lord Relictor. He's the new general. He's the second in command. You get him, you win the game. How about the knights now? So it's a three plus, a two plus? Misses. So we're going to pile in some knights here, because we kind of have to. Moving three. Moving three, because he's closest. Moving three. Moving three. Uh, this guy's going to be closest. He's going to be closest again. And he's going to be closest again. Actually, sorry, the war. Ah, it's probably equidistant. I'm just going to move him into the middle. And we're going to throw down some dice here. So, I'm going to split up our attacks a whole bunch. So, Lance attacks. I'm not charging, but I do have more than 10 guys. But I don't think I get that off the charge. Let's just charge. I'll make two attacks. I have 10 or more guys just all the time. Not even when I'm not charging. Um, so, one, two, three, four. Whoops. Four are all going to go into. I guess five are all going to go into this Mangler Squig. Everybody's in range, at least. Mm -hmm. Within two, within two, within two, within two, within two. He's not quite within two. Um, so it's going to be five guys uh, hitting on ten attacks, hitting on threes. And then only wounding on fours. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five plus. 
Okay, three takes wounded. three wounds. I got three horsies uh, hitting on fours, winning on fours. It's six attacks, at two attacks each. So fours and fours, there's three. Winning on fours, there's two more. Two more five ball saves. Nope, two more wounds. How many's got left? One? Uh, it's got one left, yeah. The remaining knights, uh, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all going to put their attacks into the boys' unit. Actually, no. Four of them are. Four of them are going to put attacks into the boys' unit. And the leader's not unit. Nine attacks, hitting on threes. Ones and twos go away. And then wounding on fours. Two wounds, no rent. On the get. Uh, no, on your regular orcs. My regular orcs, there. Two more? Two more, right. War horses into those. There's just one, two war horses in range. That's four attacks. Fours and fours. And then fours. So that's two. Two more saves. Good. Uh, and then these two war horses will be into your. Um, I think I put my attacks up into your war boss here. Mm -hmm. Fours and fours. Two. Got one war boss. One, one save. Hi, boss. Nope. Takes and one. then I think that's that. I had four guys attacked it. I think this guy back here is the only one who hasn't fought yet. And then him, but he's too far guy? away. Yeah, he did in New York. Yeah, so. this guy's too far away from anybody, but this guy back here gets his lance attacks. Mm -hmm. Those two lance attacks and your goblin war boss. Threes, one, and then fours. That's right. Piling over to you, sir. Uh, we'll go to the Ragnarok spider. Whoa. Whoa. So he's got three wounds on him, but that still gives him yeah, eight, I know. eight, <laughs> eight leg, leg attacks. attacks. I got to get him four wounds before I even chop a yeah. leg off. He's just bleeding, he's not damaged. Okay, so needing Fours and threes. It is... Fours and threes. Yeah. Fours and threes run one. So there's two hits. Threes to wounds. Two wounds, so Friendly. fives to save. One save, take a pull off the banner. Then I have my fangs. It's fours, threes, and threes. Okay. What? Rend? Minus one. Okay, so minus one, eight to five, six. Nope. And how D much damage? Three. D three? One, so he's got a one left. This is one where he's poison though. Uh, yeah, I know I needed a I needed a six. Okay. Right. That one actually doesn't happen. He didn't he had two inch reach with the claws, but he's out of reach with all the other attacks now. It's only one inch range. Battle shock! So wait, wait, you have to attack back. Oh I have to uh, pile in with them, don't I? Yeah, I yeah, still have to attack right. with all those guys. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna pile in three. And we're going to swing with our lances. Two attacks, one from the champion. So threes, three fours rather, because they're errants. And then fours to wound. One wound. Save five, he's good. Uh, horsies, four attacks. And then fours. One wound. Four plus. Nope, takes another wound. He's up to four. He's got ten wounds left. Massive fangs. One wound six left with six massive attacks. fangs. Six attacks, even though he's only got one wound left. Yeah, that oh. one doesn't change. That one, but his hit rule stinks. So oh, okay. Six is to hit. Love it. Uh, six is hit. Nothing. Nothing. And then how many does he get for his ball and chain? And then his ball and chain is D three now. Okay, that's not so bad. One. Uh oh. And it is fours and threes. So fours. Not bad. Threes. I'll re roll that. Okay. That's two. So nothing. And dude, that wasn't flat either. Roll it again. Okay. Roll it again. You're gonna roll one flat, really flat. You're getting two wound me. What's the rend? It is rend two, okay. damage three. So six is the save. Nope, damage three. So somebody's gonna come off, and I'm gonna have a wound on somebody. We'll take you back. Who's the guy that couldn't fight? It was you. Back here, and then fives and fives from the night goblins. Two. And one. Hiya. Whoop, oh, again. Fours, the potato. Okay, take a wound, so this guy comes off. One war boss, and then we get orc boys. Attacks, threes and fours. Two, and then fours to wound. One, rend. Rend minus one. Okay, so five plus. To potato. Gotta be flat. Nope, takes wounds. D3. D3. D3 damage. Uh -oh. One, so he's got one left. We'll put it on this phone. And then his wolf is two attacks, fours and fours. Fours and fours. One, and one, rend. It is no rend. Okay, four plus. Nope, this guy's gone. No longer masked cavalry. Fork time. Okay, Big pile we'll in. We'll get we'll get we'll get All right, so here they come. Six attacks. Champion's not in combat, but he's so hitting on threes here because of the command ability from Grimgore and rerolling ones because of his paired weapons. Not too bad. Everything and everything. Winning on fours. Two. 
Dude. Four plus armor. Make a move. So shock. I'm still immune to battle shock at the end of the round because my command ability. My orcs will have to take a battle shock. Okay, they took two casualties. They have their banner still though. So they have uh, seven bravery and they took two. Five. Man, top of three. Really need to go. Oh, battle shock. Battle shock. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Over there, bravery five. No, that's a five six. They're a five total. So he's gonna really need to roll for initiative. This is a big one. Both of us really need this. Come on, the ritual five. And We're one. going first. All right, I need you to lightning bolt this guy, Hello, Alexander. Do it. Do it for Sigmar three plus. No, that's not what we needed. That's okay. We have other ways of loosening this up. Um, but I think this combat's going to happen no matter what we do here. So now we're going to have to move forward. Lord Rauchter's going to get into Hammer Town. Or is he? Or is he? No. We're going to do uh, we're going to do these guys first. Five inches. I prefer Lord Rauchter just doesn't get into combat with Grimgore. That just Come seems like a thing. Grimgore. No, that seems like a thing we don't want to do. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. As much as Grimgore seems like a cool guy and like he wants to party, you know who doesn't want to party with Grimgore is Lord Doctor. <laughs> Five inches around here. <laughs> At all. Sorry, I need to put Arcane Shield on these blue raiders again because they're dead otherwise. Six. Got it. You want to try and unbind it? Uh, Beat a yeah. six with your shaman. Does. All right. Um, so then I think he's just going to move over here. Stay outside of three. All right, Peasant Bowman, you have one job. <laughs> Your job is to kill this mangler squig before it eats anybody else. <laughs> one job, I bought you for one reason. And the Aaron's gonna stay where he is. Okay. Fives and fours, ten shots into the squig. Got one wound left. I really need you guys to get some work done here. There's two. Statistically, I should get one wound here. Fours. Two wounds. Five, six. Fives. Yeah, right Eight. in the eye. Ding. Send a Bretonian Lord to do a peasant bowman's work. All right, uh, that is all my shooting. Let's charge some liberators in here. I think it's time to liberate the people of wherever we're from. So here we go. Charge range, six inches. Should be good to go. So we're gonna go pound on some orcs. So that being that, uh, the Liberators are actually not gonna go first. We're going to do the Knights first. Yeah, we're gonna do the Knights first and they're gonna pile in. Like k k crazy Throw everything we have at the orcs themselves. So they only have one attack now because they've lost um, too many guys. They have only nine guys left. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lance attacks with two inch reach. So they can reach everybody. Ten dice total. Threes and fours. So threes to hit here, fours to wound. Threes. Yeah, here we go. And fours to wound. Uh, will be three saves. Five plus. Five plus. Three dead. So now counting everybody within one inch. That's going to be one, two, three, whoops, four, not quite these two. So four guys into the orc boys. Um, that's eight attacks from horses. Fours and fours here. Yeah, getting worked on horses. Force to wound. Uh, and now the horses that are into Grimgore. So one, two into Grimgore, four attacks, fours. Nope, and then one, two that are into the war boss. There's three hits, force to wound. Two wounds, two saves for the goblin. Plus for being in cover, because he hasn't charged now. One, so he's a wound. That is them, over to you. Gonna pile in? Yeah, they're gonna do the orcs, so they're gonna pile in here. Do the things that orcs do. Here. That guy has to stay there, that guy has to stay there. Everybody else is within range. So, one, two, three, four guys it looks like, fighting liberators. They only have one inch range. Yeah, so. they got range. Oh, do they? Okay. This guy's was the tip of his sword to my shield as one shot. Ah, okay. Four hits here, still hitting on threes because Grimbor's ability hasn't ended yet, and we're rolling one. ones. So that's going to be three hits, winning on fours. Of course, liberators have lost their magic shield to the turn they're actually in combat. So fours here, rolling ones because they're sigmoid shields. Make them two into the returning knights. Two, and then forced wound. Forced to save. Come on, knights. Make one fail one and on this fella. Do this guy. <laughs> Get him! That Arachnorok hitting on fours. Rerolling ones because he's nearby a lady and he's trying to impress her. And then wounding on fours. One wound. Make a save. Four plus. Fight the spider. Makes it. And then it's horsies, fours and fours. Grimgore's gonna Grimgore it. So fight some hit, knights. Hitting on twos. Sorry, because he gets his own command ability. Uh, don't get the rerolling one. Yeah, no paired weapons. And then three to wound. Three to wound. 
two, three. three at rend minus two, so five, six is here. Fail three, that's gonna be and three dead guys. It's a, yeah, so, so, so one, two, three, that's what I needed. Uh, two plus the head button. Nope. nope. And now we can pile in the Liberators three inches. And they're gonna start punchulating your face. Uh, not really able to get much further than that, so these three guys are gonna be out, but that'll be one, two, three, four, five guys. Seven attacks from the Liberators, hitting on fours, winning on threes. Take away these, because you don't have five wounds in your starting profile, I don't get plus one to hit. And it's gonna be four wounds, no rent. For the Yorks, right? Yeah, and Yorks, fives. So two more. Uh, this guy. You know what? Get rid of the champion. Over to you. You get Goblin War Boss. And the spider still. That's right. Goblin War Boss swinging around, hitting some knights. Got three attacks. Needing threes. And needing uh, fours. One. one. Any rend? Minus uh, one? Minus one. So fives. Nope. Take D3. D3. Two. Two. So that's another dead knight. Fighting. Fours and fours. fours. Two hits. Fours to wounds. One. Makes it spider. I wounded him. So, so now he's the slightly worse giant spider. <laughs> Six leg attacks. Let's see what happens. Fours and threes. Two. And then three is to wound. Two. So that's going to be four plus becomes five plus. Make one, make none. Dead jock. I took four casualties there. So I am bravery. Six. So D6 plus four. Duh. So it's eight. I'm gonna lose two more guys. We're gonna pull off you and you. Seven guys. What's your bravery? It's uh. I think it's seven banner, with the banner. Seven. Yeah. So basically, just d6 guys flee. Three, Three. more. All but one. Banner goes. Bottom of three. Heroes first. That's right. You got some Grimgore and some Shaman and all kinds of stuff left. So Grimgore is gonna use his. Uh, everyone fights or else. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, and then I'll do. He's gonna do the spider venom first. Kay. So four plus. Uh, does it on a nine? Goes off on a nine. Trying to bind it on a ten. Nope. And then he's gonna try to do arcane bolt on a nine. But let me just make sure I'm in range. Sure, eighteen. Yeah. So you need a six or a seven. 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 You need eight to unbind it. I do. Come yeah. um, spider time. Oh, are you gonna dance with the spider in the pale moonlight? Staying three inches away. Here comes the immortals. The immortals are getting committed. We're gonna leave the. Relic unguarded, it's all or nothing. D6, this, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Your spider's out of range, so again, D6 minus two. The ritual gets up to, ooh, seven. Mm. Day clock, man. Flavor Flav's counting mm. down. So we've done our movements. Uh, any shooting? Some bows? Uh, yeah, we'll do heating. These guys. Into, I, I assume him. him. Yeah. I assume into higher clan. Sorry, right, uh, Lord Relictor. Fives. So fives one, and then fives, fives again. again. Nope. Nope. First we'll do this. Big spiders? First. Okay. Yeah. He gets a range of 11. I'm gonna charge the Oh back. man! Going into the Relictor. I'm definitely in range. All day. I think I can make it through. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, you're fine. Blorks, where the Blorks going? They're gonna go into here, but they're gonna go seven. Uh oh. It's getting sporty out here. Everybody else already in melee, so who do you want to have strike first? We're gonna do the spider. Mmm, I see. He's going first. Fours and threes. Okay. There's four hits. And three. That's three. three. Rend? Minus one. So four plus armor now. Whoa, three wounds. Got two left. Thanks, this could just finish the game right here. So it is pl the three plus now. Three plus to hit. All hit. And is it six? Six just does D3 mortal wounds. If you roll six sure. or more to hit. Yeah, it's just D3 mortal wounds. So this is going to be D3. Oh, game! No. Along came a spider. All right, so there we go. Didn't quite pull it off. Lost both my heroes and got a major victory for the Auric Horde. The destruction ritual happened. Humans have been turned into goblins. Cats and dogs right. are living together. It's mass hysteria. So, uh, yeah, that was a super interesting mission. We're just talking about the actual mission himself. He's, he was saying that it would be hard for him to get a countdown victory. It is. But I think that what's interesting is I think that's there to keep shooting armies 
from just sitting and shooting. Because yeah. otherwise, like if I was playing with my dwarf army and I had all, all kinds of cavalry, there were, or sorry, uh, guns, there'd be no way for me to soften them up enough with shooting and still have time to get there and actually break the ritual. That's true. So it, to me, the countdown doesn't seem like a, a way for you to win. Mm -hmm. It seems like a way of forcing me to actually get get like aggressive with my, my advancing and my hero and all that stuff. And actually that was what won you the game because I knew I was shutting yeah. down your ritual and I probably had five or six turns to get there, but I still couldn't count on my Lord Relictor and my general never fighting through your no, own. yeah, and the key too is is I try to charge as many guys into the piles, right? Yep. So that I don't want you to get another charge because Brett's are really powerful now on that well, charge a little bit. They're back again to being powerful. They are very charge. powerful on the charge, and and, and the, because it lasts a whole battle round, going first is kind of key with mm -hmm. them. It seems like because you get the charge off, you get all your charge bonuses, and it lasts if he counter charges you too. Because mm -hmm. it's not for the battle round; it's for the turn. Um, mm -hmm. So if you do it in the bottom of your turn, it's not so good. But if you do it at the top of your turn, it can be amazing. And winning the initiative seemed like it was really important there. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing too is you charge me a bunch of heroes, and that made you immune to battle shock. That's right. And that was pretty huge as well. Because as soon as I dropped below ten guys, battle shock became a huge. Huge deal. I couldn't be mean to Battle Shock anymore because my general was dead and it just got bad fast. <laughs> Grim, Grimgore for the win. Gets work done, man. <laughs> Grimgore all day. Um, and uh, again, I think the Arachnorok, we saw um, two games ago the Arachnorok uh, with the Flinger. Actually, you even used the last game with the Flinger. Didn't yeah, you used the last one. Yeah. I think that Shaman's amazing. I think the Shaman's better than the Flinger. I, I never hit with the Flinger. I, yeah. I think I hit. I hit zero times. Yeah, well, it's four, so you hit half the four time. Threes, and it, I don't think it is. I'd rather have the venomous thing yep. that he gets, a four plus, and then like even on the last there, even though you only had three wounds, that was technically six wounds. That's six right. Six mortal wounds. It doubled to six mortal right? wounds. And yeah. then he gets an arcane bolt on top of that. I mean. Or plus one armor save. Yeah. Because you can always do arcane shield too, which means you can make it three plus save. That's right. Which is crazy with 14 wounds. That's right. Or you could add one save to your black orcs, you get one save to whatever. So I think that's yeah. a that's a way more, that seems like a way more versatile way to make it a gun platform than taking the flinger. Correct. The flinger is cool because it can't be dispelled, but in this case, I think the shaman was definitely the better option. So if you guys enjoyed that, we wanted to bring something different. Again, we used the battle plan, which was really cool. It definitely forced some asymmetrical deployment and a really interesting wind trigger. And then we started to mix the armies, taking Stormcast with free peoples was really cool and I'm going to totally yeah, do like it again it. and I just haven't played a game with this Praetorian army since I found it in the Lords of War basement <laughs> like three weeks ago and hadn't seen it in about seven years <laughs> um, so yeah that was awesome hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you for more Realms of Kai, uh, Conflict and until then guys happy warrior.